Greetings! I'm doing a weird thing with camera angles because I have this stick thing that's hanging on a shelf up here. And I have no idea what I'm trying to do with it. So if this works out, let me know if it doesn't, whatever. Also, what do you think about this lip color? It looks better in person, but it's kind of blending with my wall over here, so it doesn't look great right now, but I think it looks okay with the purple. Anyway, you want to close up? Hmm. Yeah, it looks kind of washed out on the camera, but it looks better in person, I can assure you that much. We are here today because there is another fortune box soap. You know what I meant. You can see the box, you know what this box means. This is the summer pack. I have ex been excited, but I can't use my words right, because fuck it. So this is a summer box. Let's just, before I fuck anything else up, let's just get in here. Maybe. <sighs> there we go. <gasps> oh, I like the theme. The theme is just keep swimming. Probably because of the new Dory movie, which I have yet... I don't know if it's... Is it out? Is it out yet? Has it been out yet? When am I posting this? I don't fucking know. Oh, ooh, the smells. Alrighty. Oh, oh that's adorable. I like... <laughs> I like the, the fish that they chose because it's like... They're trying to be Nemo and Dory, but they're using different colors. They don't completely infringe on copyright. <laughs> Oh, what do we start on first? This is what everything looks like. It's so pretty. It's so purple. It's so fun. There's a marble in here. I have a marble in here. Oh, this represents the egg. The little egg. And then the purple is the anemone. That's really fucking cute. They outdid themselves on this one. All right. Let's try. Let's go with the OCD. This is Lil Blue OCD Sanitizer. Let's see how they describe it. Just keep sanitizing, just keep sanitizing, just keep sanitizing, sanitizing, sanitizing. Uh, this is a symphony of Andrew Pear and Juicy Apples harmonized with plum blossom, sandalwood, and a twist of amber. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Oh, and yes, I'm a natural blue, so I'm guessing they're using natural pigments to cool that blue? Or is that just a sassy thing reference that I don't get? It's probably that. Ooh. Even through the alcohol, that smells really good. It's very blue. And there are glitteries in this one, which is good because the last few boxes didn't have it. I missed that. Ooh. It's not just fruity. It's very feminine and soft, but not overbearing. That's really nice. I think I might want that as a perfume oil. Ooh. Like, there's a little bit of floral in there, but it's not, like, slap you in the face with my fucking petals floral. Yeah. We have a spritzy spritz. Aqua scum spray lotion. That is what we've got. That's really interesting. Simply spray and rub onto skin until fully absorbed. Moisturizing blend of juicy lychee, crisp apple, and mouth-watering peach nectar. Sure to bring you back to a state of optimal hydration. That sounds awesome. Oh, wow. It's very... It's got, like, a consistency of mosquito repellent. Bug spray. Ooh. That feels nice. It doesn't feel really... Ooh. Doesn't feel greasy, and once it's there, it's gone. It's it's absorbed really quickly. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about the smell, though. It's not offensive in any way, but it's very. It's very light. It's kind of fruity, but more like clean smelling. It's okay. It's not leaving a really big impression, but I might want to keep getting their spray lotions because, geez, that's nice. Oh, I don't know if I actually showed you the bottle of the sanitizer, but it's got sparkles in it. Not sure if you can see through my face. Through the camera, but yes. What next? Ooh, it's purple. Intervention. That's their whipped cream, which they always have, and you guys know by now that I love their formulas. Hmm. Hints of coconutty, but a fruity coconut? What do they call it? 
Intervention. Enchanting blend of creamy coconut milk and tangy pineapple drifting on a warm island might get your taste buds tingling. You may always remember one thing. <laughs> Fortune cookie soap products are for your skin, not for your mouth. Sorry to disappoint. Yes, definitely smell the pina colada in that one. And it's not an offensive pina colada either. Like, I have one with the, like, fake pineapple, fake coconut. All the coconut! Yep. That's nice. I like that. It's a lavender color which pretty much matches my wall. How fascinating. Now what's this? Jelly Man! Jelly Man, what is this? Don't be jelly. Do, 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 do. Don't be jelly soap! Introduce you to a blend of black cherry, watermelon, and frothy iced guava nectar floating with sliced strawberry and key limes. That sounds fucking magical. It's a squishy, and take him in the shower with you, work into a leather, rub all over. So it's basically a shower delay, like from Lush or something. Oh! Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know if I can pick this up on camera, but look at how iridescent and shimmery. Yeah, there we go. It's so shimmery. It's so cool. Ooh. Mm -mm. It smells like. Cherry fruit snack, which isn't really boing. Oh, it's a lot firmer than the Lush Shower jellies, but it's it's kind of got like a rubbery consistency. Yeah, like rubber is a pretty good. I like this one. Actually, I like this one a lot better than the Lush ones, because this one feels like it'll last longer. I sense the other notes in there, but I can't... I can't get past the cherry, which kind of sucks. But I like this jelly thing. It's really cool and it's very shimmery. I wonder if I pop it. Oop, let's pop it up. You might need a toothpick or something to get that out, but you can get it out. Okay, once I've broken this, it's like the top section, but once I've broken the seal, it's a little bit more blended. A bit more fruitier. I like fruit punch a lot. This is a very summery fragrance. That is cool. I like that. I love doing. I love it when they do the weird, interesting things. Let's see. We have a bomb of some form. What do they call it? Is it a? Is it another petty bomb? So it's for your feet. Hitch a ride on the fortune cookie soap current lemon lime fizzy pop, floating with orchids and a curl of white chocolate. May sound a little out there, but take one with this little guy and you'll be dooding up with this in no time. Let's try it. And hopefully not snort any of the fizziness because that will be uncomfortable. Ooh, they got the fizzy soda there. But it's a little... That's mostly what I smell, but I do smell something else, like floral. Mmm. I like that one. Very effervescent smelling. Like, I don't know how they do that. I've got incense that smells like fizzy soda as well. And I don't know how they make it smell fizzy. But anyway... Let's see, we have perfume oil, which isn't labeled. I'm not sure if it was just too small to put a label on it, but... This is called Whale Talk. Tropical mashup of strawberries, blackcurrant, jasmine, grapefruit, and fresh avocado. Hmm... I love perfume, oils... Oh, where's the part of me that isn't fragranced yet? Hmm. Hmm. Very bright. Very fruity. I like it. Is there any floral, fr uh, floral in that? Yeah, jasmine. Yeah. I like that. It's fruity jasmine. It's very... I, th I think strawberry is the biggest hint in there, but it's very... It's interesting. Really nice. I like that a lot. And then we have something that I'm pretty excited for. This is, ooh, Barracuda Lip Gloss. So a perfect summer pairing of juicy cantaloupe, crisp green honeydew, and a sweet red watermelon with a splash of lime and sprinkle of raw cane sugar. So... There are some sparklies in it. Never tried any of their lip products before. Well, except for their chapstick. Because it's chapstick. Woo, it's very goopy. 
Wow. First thing I get is cantaloupe. That's actually about all I get. A little bit of watermelon. That's like the fresh watermelon, not like the fake watermelon candy. Hmm. Very goopy. So if you don't like the goopy with glossy stuff, you're not, probably not going to like this. Let me clean a finger so that I can stick it in there and swatch it. Just to give you a little bit hint of the texture. Blip. Yep, that's a goopy gloss. But, let's see. Shimmer. Very, very, very bright. Very bright. Ooh, though you do get a better fragrance on it once it uh, settles on your skin a little bit. Uh, very nice. Glossy gloss, I'm not sure if you can sh tell, but there's some shimmeries and sparklies in there. Yep, definitely a gloss. Not too big in the glosses, but I'll probably use it just because I have it. So. Finally! The fortune cookie soup. This one is entitled Shark Bait. This is really fucking neon. That's what it looks like. Very, very bright pink. Holy shit. Orange. I know my colors. Ooh, I smell like baked goods, I think. Shark bait. Oranges, creamy vanilla ice cream, and sandalwood infused with strawberries. Hmm. Fruity, definitely. A little bit creamy. It's soft, actually. It's very, very soft. Let's see what the fortune is, because it's poking out right there. <laughs> hey, look here! Escape! Escape! <laughs> very cute, very, very cute. I like this box. I think this is probably one of my favorite boxes. At least theme-wise. The fragrances aren't as prominent in this one. Like, I would probably have to say the fizzy one is really awesome, because it's fizzy. And definitely the little blue. That one is really nice, too. And I'm definitely gonna have to try their more of their liquid lotions, because this is cool. And you don't use a lot with it. It little goes a long way. Really, really cool. Fucking amused by the jelly thingy, though. Oh my god. But some very nice summery fragrances. And yeah, so, have you guys tried Fortune Cookie Soap? What were your favorite fragrances? Have you tried this box yet? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And I will see you next time.